Jennifer Lopez's new documentary has been gaining a lot of attention on the behind-the-scenes practice of creating her and Shakira's, one of the most iconic halftime shows. These two icons came together to perform on the football field at the Super Bowl in 2020. They only had six minutes of performance time, still. The crowd-loaded show gathered considerable gratitude from fans across the globe, many viewers applauding the women for showing their Latin origin so gracefully a yet. Her brand new documentary discovered many backlashes, which will hit Netflix on June 14. Jennifer Lopez was already very frustrated with the NFL for reserving two headliners and preparing them to share the same amount of time that any solo performer would get and disagreed with giving the women extra spotlight. But if we take the example of the solo headliners like Beyonce and The Weeknd, they have been distributed upwards of 14 minutes to themselves. But Jennifer Lopez was hurt that she and Shakira, who are the first Latina artists to take to the halftime stage together, are expected to compromise their stage time. In their performance video, you'll see that Jennifer made a sharp announcement when she was joined by her daughter, Emmy. The stage concept was encircled by children sitting inside glowing rounded cages. Then we can see her daughter who was on stage seated inside the same cage-like structure and begin singing and giving an emotional performance of her mom's track, Let's Get Loud. Many of the viewers concluded that the children inside the glowing structures were aimed to be examples of the immigrant children being seized in crowded cages at U.S. custody centers along the southern border.